I'm Dr. Rachel Dolan, a movement disorder specialist and vice president of medical communications at the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. Today I'll be discussing walking and balance problems in Parkinson's. Walking and balance problems can occur at any time in the course of Parkinson's, but they don't occur in everyone and they happen to different degrees in different people. If more significant problems happen, they're more likely to occur in the later stages of Parkinson's. People with Parkinson's are said to have a somewhat typical gait pattern. This includes short shuffling steps, a forward stooped posture, and decreased arm swing while walking. People with Parkinson's tend to move more slowly and they also take multiple steps to turn around. Balance problems, or what doctors refer to as postural instability, are basically an unsteadiness. These can make it difficult to do your daily activities like showering or dressing safely or without extra help. They can also lead to falls with injury and all of this can make it difficult to live on your own. Walking and balance problems are some of the most frustrating symptoms and they're also some of the most challenging to treat. Unfortunately, in most people, they don't respond well to our currently available medical and surgical therapies. Still, our management consists of adjusting Parkinson's medications, exercise, and physical and occupational therapy. Parkinson's medications are adjusted to ensure that other Parkinson's symptoms like stiffness or slowness or complications like dyskinesia aren't contributing to the walking and balance problems. Regular exercise is good for everyone with Parkinson's, but it's very important for people with walking and balance problems. Any kind of exercise is good, but there is specific evidence to support certain forms like yoga, tai chi, or even dance. Physical and occupational therapists can teach you specific exercises to improve your strength, mobility, and balance. They can help you prevent falls or fall in ways to minimize injury. And they can also evaluate you for a cane or a walker if that's needed to help you get around more safely. If you have walking or balance problems, a physical or occupational therapist or another medical professional can evaluate your home's safety and propose modifications or other adaptive equipment to help you and your care partner do your daily activities more safely and easily. Some recommendations might include to remove loose rugs or cords that could cause tripping, to repair uneven flooring, to add extra lighting or night lights throughout the home, to widen doorways or add ramps to accommodate a walker or a wheelchair, and to obtain or install adaptive equipment. These might include things like shower grab bars, a raised toilet seat, or a lift chair to help you stand from sitting more easily. Ongoing trials are evaluating different medications, varied forms of exercise, and surgical therapies, including deep brain stimulation, as well as non-invasive forms of brain stimulation. You can learn more about walking and balance problems, as well as other topics in Parkinson's, by visiting our website.